Well, this isn't actually a wooden countertop. This is the top of the altar that I built last year for All Saints Episcopal Church. But if you were to refinish a wooden countertop, you would use the same method as I'm going to use on this project. Now, what happened to the top is, believe it or not, somebody dragged a heavy metal cross across the top of the altar, and it's damaged the finish, and it's damaged the wood under the finish. So the only way to really do a good job in taking care of this is to remove the old finish, sand the top down, and apply a new finish. Now, before I get started, I wanted to point out my new shirt. This is a shirt that I designed, and I'll be giving one away on my website tomorrow at johnpeters.com. And basically, I give something away every Wednesday uh, at my website. So if you want to check that out, uh, you can just go to my website and find out all about it. Now, to get started with this project, I'm going to first use a little frog tape and tape the edges of the altar out because I want to make sure that I don't get any of the paint and finish remover on the edges or the bottom because I only want to refinish the top. I finished taping out the top and now I'm going to bring it outside because this stuff is really pretty toxic. I'm going to wear a mask and gloves but it's nice out so why not work outside. Now also when, when I was taping the top out I let the tape come in about an eighth of an inch to the top and that's because I really don't want to get any finish on the edges and if I remove the finish and I have just about an eighth of an inch of finish around the edges that will be easy to sand off. I applied three coats of the zip strip, applying the zip strip, letting it sit for a few minutes, scraping the finish, and then applying it again, and then dealing with some of the more stubborn areas with a scotch bright pad and a little more zip strip. And I would say that about 85% of the finish is now removed, and the next step is to start sanding. And I'm going to start with 80 grit sandpaper in the orbital disc sander. Once I finished sanding with the disc sander, I moved on to the palm sander and sanded the top with 120 grit silicone carbide paper. And now the top is sanded and it's upstairs ready for finish. But I forgot to mention what I used for a finish remover and that's zip strip. Uh, I've used this for a long time. I actually was looking for something less toxic at the home store uh, last night, but I couldn't really find anything and I had this. It's sort of the old standby. Now, as far as the finish, I'm going to try something new. This is a white bond poly by Minwax. I've never used it before, but I've heard some good things about it. So let's go upstairs and see how it works. Okay, well we're up in the studio and I've just vacuumed the top to make sure I removed any sawdust. And now I'm going to pour a little white bond poly in this container and wipe in the direction of the grain. This is the base of the altar. If you'd like to see how I built this, I'll put a link on the screen. Well, it's definitely going to take a couple of coats of the poly, so I'm going to revisit this project a week from today, next Tuesday, and by then I should have six or seven coats of the finish on the top, and that's what I want. I want a really strong finish, and the, the wood is so old that it's just drinking the finish up right now. And also, I thought that uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and next Tuesday's video, we'll just take a quick look at that top and see how it came out and then I'll answer any questions about uh, using wood as your countertop. Now I have a wooden countertop and I think there are pros and cons and uh, basically I'll tell you what I think the pros and cons are and answer any questions that might be in the comments. Don't forget I'm giving this shirt away tomorrow, not this exact one but one just like it 
and there'll be shirts like this for sale. And I give something away every Wednesday on my website at johnpeters.com, so I hope you'll visit. Thanks for tuning in.